Well, are you or your neighbors invested in hedge funds? Don't laugh. Once it was only for the super rich, Terry Keenan, not anymore, huh? Not anymore, Neil. We're becoming a hedge fund nation. We'll have the scoop on those sexy, secretive investment pools up next. All right, well, hedge funds once only for the uber rich, like Sean Hannity. Now, the often mysterious investment pools might be for you. Terry Keenan reports. Terry? <sighs> Like the well-manicured suburban hedges that share their name, hedge funds have long been the investment vehicle of choice for the rich, famous, and sophisticated. And they're more popular than ever. It's the cachet. It's telling your neighbor, ooh, I'm in this secretive investment. Uh, I qualify because you have to have a million dollars in net worth. If you're at the country club or at a cocktail party, a lot of the time people will say, I've got my hedge fund. I've got my money in this guy's hedge fund. And this type of investing is getting more mainstream. With more than 8,000 funds available, there are more hedge funds than mutual funds, sporting $1 trillion in assets, tripled the amount just five years ago. The hedge funds of 2005 aren't all about stocks and bonds. They use complicated investment strategies, often delivering extra reward by taking on extra risk, even placing big bets on art, real estate, precious metals, and fine wine. But now, with as little as 25000 down, still hefty by mutual fund standards, even the little guy can get a piece of the hedge fund pie. Americans, thankfully, are richer than they've ever been, and more of them are looking for hedge funds and hedge fund-type products. I mean, they're sick of waiting on sideways stock markets, and brokers have told them to, you know, stick in it for the long haul. But is the investment performance up to the hype? Last year, the average hedge fund returned 8%, versus more than 10% for the benchmark S&P. Still, some investment superstars have scored the kind of home runs that have made hedge fund investing legendary, like Fidelity protege Jeff Vinnick and 40-year-old Eddie Lampert. Last year, Lampert took home a billion dollars for himself and a 69% return for his investors. And his hedge fund merged its holdings in Kmart with Sears. Are they the new rock stars? These. I think they probably live better than rock stars. That's because hedge funds are money machines for the folks who run them. Fund managers typically collect about 2% in management fees, plus 20% of the profits, or even more. So it will come as no surprise to hear that many managers take home $100 million or more a year. But with so much fast money chasing the same investments, skeptics wonder whether hedge funds could turn out to be too much of a good thing. If the market unravels, goes the wrong way against the way the hedge funds have bet, you know, the, the markets are going to, to see huge losses and it's going to affect everybody out there, not just hedge fund investors, but mutual fund investors, stock market investors, uh, bond investors. Some say hedge funds have helped the markets, especially in the wake of 9-11, when they were about the only investors in town. One of the most important things about hedge funds is there are very steadying forces within the markets. Far from, far from derail the markets, they actually help to stabilize them. But there is a big wild card. Unlike mutual funds, hedge funds borrow big so that their investment gains will pack more punch. But as any gambler knows, leverage works both ways. And how much money the hedge funds have borrowed remains a mystery. Like the leafy variety, hedge funds shield prying eyes from what's really going on behind them. Neil? Thank you, Terry, very much. Well, are hedge funds getting a bad name? Let us ask Charles Gradente. He is the managing principal of the Hennessy Group, serving as an advisor to hedge fund investors. He is also the only non-government official to testify on hedge funds before the SEC, the House, Senate, and CFTC. Good to have you. Nice to be here, Neil. Everyone's waiting for the X. It's going to happen. <laughs> bad things are going to happen because of guys like you. Bad hedge funds right. and big bad hedge funds. Overdone. Yeah. Overdone. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of cachet to, to use hedge funds as, as an explanation for all of the wrongs uh, in the market. The Nasdaq bubble was blamed on uh, hedge funds. The, the uh, weakening in the dollar blamed on hedge funds. The bear market that began in 2000 uh, blamed on hedge funds. And in fact, when you look at the 70s, we had the stock market drop 50% in the 70s. Gold went up 5,000% in the 70s. Uh, oil went up 500% in the 70s. In the 80s, the dollar declined against the yen 50% like it did against the euro recently. And we had the 87 crash, and hedge funds weren't even around. I mean, there were a handful, but they were not But the, here's player. the rep that's th 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 different this time, Charles, that you guys are chasing these phenomena so that if they are to undo these markets, it will be because you guys gunned it. They've been saying that since long-term capital, and it hasn't happened. We, we went through a bear market, and, and we haven't seen uh, that happen. The, the, the thing about long-term capital, which is not the poster child for hedge funds, is it was a one-off event, and the banks that lent to long-term capital did not do their due diligence. All right, diligence. but when that was in disarray, and right. it was almost a global market panic, clearly Alan Greenspan sent signals, I will rescue you. 
I will rescue the markets. I will rescue the people behind it. He was it. rescuing the banks. He could care less about Very good point. Capital. But there are a lot of powerful players behind hedge funds who might be exposed, right? Uh, yeah, but there are powerful players behind Orange County when they hedge their interest rate risk. Very good point. There are powerful players. If a big hedge fund today were about to go belly up, would, should, the Fed intervene and rescue? The Fed should not intervene unless it affects the banking system, which long-term capital uh, potentially could have. No one really knows because the banks did not know uh, their own balance sheet. But here's the thing that bugs people, Charles, that you guys are so secretive, not you individually. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like a lot of people don't know what hedge funds are because you, you work like this order of the fine nights. Neil, hedge funds are no more secretive than your investment banks, which are the largest hedge funds on the street. Goldman Sachs, uh, Lehman Brothers, Merrill Lynch, Citibank, they all have hedge funds in the belly of their proprietary trading business. And you use the example that you don't know a big firm's position on the dollar, and that is what we akin to what a hedge fund is. We don't know if Citibank is long or short the dollar right now or Lehman yeah. Brothers. We don't know what they're doing in gold or oil. But are Goldman you guys legalized insider trading? No, definitely not. Are you guys legalized gambling? No. We, this, this is a limited partnership uh, designed for the LPs to make money in a market, arbitrage, mispricing. And so all illiquid. this crepe hanging is overdone. As a matter of fact, hedge funds are value added to the market and it, it, it definitely is over, overdone. Now, that doesn't okay. mean that on the outliers there isn't a cowboy here or there that gets into trouble, but guess what? That's the world we live in. Alrighty. But basically, most of the hedge funds are conservative strategies. Hedge funds have outperformed the S&P 500 since we've been monitoring and investing in managers. Not last year, though. Since 97, since Not 87. Not last year, though. Not last year, no, okay. but All since right. 87, with less volatility, okay. less risk. Charles Gordenti, thank you very much. Thank you. Good seeing you again.